441. 441 looks like this. Okay, 441 is basically a beginner's pattern. You really shouldn't be having any trouble trying to get this pattern down. But nevertheless, we're going to break it into two parts. The 4-4 four, four part and the 1 part. Okay, to practice the 4-4 four, four part of the pattern, take two balls, one your right, one your left, start with the inside of your, of your body and throw each of them to the outside asynchronously, starting with your right, like this. And then repeat. Get used to doing this. With your, starting with your right, and then with your left. Throwing from the inside, catching on the outside. I'm not throwing the ball straight up into the air, but rather starting on the inside and catching them on the outside. Now when you get to go with starting with your right, do it with your left. Start with your left and get comfortable with doing that as well. Once you're really good at doing that with both your starting with your right and your left, you're ready to start working on the one part. Okay, the one part of the 4-4-1 pattern is just a toss from your right hand to your left hand and back again. Just like this, back and forth. Get used to doing that and can, just so you get used to it so you can do it with your eyes closed too, so that you know where the ball is and you can throw it back and forth real easily. Because obviously you're going to be doing that in the 4-4-1 pattern. Okay? Okay, so once you've learned the 4-4 part of the pattern and the 1 part, then you're ready to put it all together. Start with two balls in your dominant hand and one in your other hand. Throw the two fours of the pattern first, followed by the one, which looks like this. Four, four, one. And then stop. It's that easy. Put it back in your right hand, try it again. Four, four, one. And stop. Once you get really good at that, start doing it with your left hand as well. Throw, throw, stop. Four, four, one. Stop. It's really not that hard. Then start doing it more. Do two passes. That was one. There you go. And then do it back and forth like that. Okay, so once you can do two rounds of the pattern, move on to three, then four, then five, until you can run the pattern consistently. It really isn't that hard. It's a beginner's pattern. Have a lot of fun with it. You know, I wonder what it would look like if I did it from the outside to the inside. Oh, that looks pretty cool.